Sony has been generally very successful with its Sony Spider-Man universe films, as far back as the original Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man trilogy, and then later with the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man movies, which did pretty well and were well received by fans. The first Venom film did very well at the box office. The second film, Let There Be Carnage, still did pretty good but was not as successful as the first. And of course, the MCU Spider-Man films with Tom Holland, Homecoming, Far From Home and No Way Home were all critically and financially successful. But Morbius was the turning point. It did not fare nearly as well as expected. But unfortunately for the SSU, a new low has now been achieved. Madame Webb is officially... An unmitigated disaster. This article is from ScreenRant.com. Madame Webb officially breaks a 22-year Sony Spider-Man box office record. Madame Webb officially breaks a 22-year Sony Spider-Man box office record, although it's not a record the movie hoped to achieve in theatres. So the article has very succinctly broken down the domestic opening weekends at the box office for the last 14 SSU movies. And as you can see, Spider-Man No Way Home is at the top spot with $260.1 million, a massive success. Then there's a sizable gap to Spider-Man 3, $151 million. Across the Spider-Verse, $120.6 million. Homecoming, $117 million. Spider-Man From 2002, $114.8 million. Spider-Man Far From Home, $92.5 million. The Amazing Spider-Man 2, $91.6 million. Venom, Let There Be Carnage, $90 million. Spider-Man 2, $80.2 million. I'm actually surprised it wasn't higher. That's a great film. The Amazing Spider-Man 1, $62 million. Morbius, $39 million. And Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, $35.3 million. And finally, Madame Webb, $17.6 million. So that's its opening three-day weekend. So it's a clear box office failure. If we go to Box Office Mojo, at the time of making this video, the film has brought in $51 million worldwide. The budget for the movie is $80 million. So because it's not a massive budget film, I think that's the only real positive, is that the film might recoup its production budget at the box office worldwide if it doesn't suffer a massive decline in the next few weeks. $80 million might still be possible. However, I think it's unlikely to be a profitable film overall because we haven't even factored in the movie's marketing budget. One has to ask at this point why these kinds of films are being made at all. We've already discussed the trailer. There's nothing there that would really entice many people to go and see this movie. Madame Webb and these other characters are very obscure to general cinema-going audiences, with no real name recognition as superheroes. The film looks like an exercise in fixture fulfillment, if I'm honest. And it looks like a very lazy, predictable story. The dialogue doesn't look good. The reviews are also appalling. This is the latest ratings from Rotten Tomatoes, 13% critic score, 55% audience score, 43% for all audience scores. It looks like another movie which only the most die-hard comic book movie and superhero fan would actually pay money to go to see in the cinema. It's difficult to believe that the studio signed off on this movie actually believing it would be a critical and commercial success. Now, I know all Hollywood movies are tax write-offs, obviously, but it's hard to imagine that films like this get greenlit for any other reason than to write off expenses against taxes. Call me cynical, but there you have it. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.